the top tier Exert team. It's definitely an SS plus Exert team. Uh, you know, I, I, I gotta say that I think Sivo is a risk taking Slayer. He's really gonna try to like take it to Mika Rock Shooter. He's gonna challenge him. He's gonna stay in his face. I think ZT's better at blocking, but I think Sivo is much better at rush down. I think it's a button check. Yeah. You got a button check? <laughs> a T-Bag and Guilty Gear. I've never seen it before. I'd like to see an IK on stream today. What uh, about you? I don't know, man. It takes a lot of time. You know, nobody's lost souls. You don't need to insta-kill anyone just to make fun of them. You know? I want to see an insta-kill today. I don't think Slayer can do it. He does like 10,000 damage. Gains like 5,000 meter. Might as well just try it. I think you should insta-kill someone if you're going to win the tournament. Like if it's the last game, last round, you just want to look cool and insult the person. Go yeah, ahead. you're on stream. You got to flex on stream. Winning is flexing on stream, though. But winning in style can get can get you to lose. All right, we're going to get started right here. And we start off with the 5K, and it kind of seems yeah. like already lost neutral. But he resets the 2S anti-air from Dizzy. We were talking about that last time, but good burst out on the 5D, too. And he gets the knockdown. And Whoa! That was really good by uh, Big Rock Shooter. Using that, uh, that flame better fish. by Steve O'Brien for blocking that setup. Well, that's true. That's very true. I've never seen uh, Miku Rock Shooter do that before. Usually he always goes for uh, the same mix up over and over and over again. Whoa. Whoa. See, there, there's that risk you talked about. He tried to backdash cancel uh, <laughs> K Mampa, and he gets blown up by, by Fire Pillar, and now he's getting set play, but he gold for it. I like, I, I like the fact that Steve is always taking it. He's never maybe down, but he's always moving, you know? He's always moving around. Oh, Ooh, he goes for another grenade grab. I think he misses the forward dash. And the pile bunker goes unchecked. And he two P's. Got him in the corner, but he lets him free, but he has the meter to continue. And he gets counter hit. Good Whoa. check out. That was bold, but it ended up working oh. out in a YRC. That's to get the punish. That's some smart player stuff. It was. That's that's the risk we're talking about. YRC, get the punish, and keep moving. I like the long boot of the law <laughs> that uh, Slayer just used. And the empty jump low catches him. Oh, and he jumps out the setup. But he gets 2 West anti-air again. That's the second time we've seen Miku Rock Shooter go to that. The third time we've seen him go to that 2 West anti-air. He throws out a bubble, and he catches his tech. But he loses that corner position. He gets 2H out of 4S. Whoa, and Slayer's Whoa. facing the wrong direction. Man, that's crazy. The mash, the Guilty Gear special, smash throw. Oh, no, Mika Rock Shooter is on the offense right now. Oh, and then he doesn't finish the combo. I think it was a bit too pro-rated, and he gets his dead angle baited. Okay, Mappa. And now Miku's on the defensive. Let's see how shook he is from last week. All right, I guess this week. Oh, oh and he's the not low scared. Blitz. He did a low blitz. He's not scared. He wasn't shook. That was that was all smart, man. It was all all brain. Looks like uh, he's 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 grown a pair. Oh. Oh, and here it comes. Here comes Slayer, though. And Miku Rock Shooter kind of just running away. But it's working. I mean, he, you want to force Slayer to come to you. I mean, dealing with all these projectiles with Slayer isn't the easiest. Man. And these random tags. I definitely want to see Steve-O go to some more anti-airs. Maybe an anti-air jab. That 5P doesn't have enough meter to FD in the air, and he gets... Eagle Rock should be getting very bold. These jabs, and they're all working out. Maybe Steve needs to adjust and know to start noticing it. Wow. That's Ooh. a counter hit setup that Miku Rock does. He does a uh, crouching punch into uh, down heavy into the axe because you want to try to press a button. Very smart by Miku Rock Shooter. He I think there's always the throw of there's always the threat of Dizzy throwing you. So you're always wanting you know let me let me try to stop her from throwing me. But then obviously if they identify it, they can frame trap you and get that counter hit. And the thing about her throw animation is like it, if you try to jump it, you get hit by yeah. one of the huge uh, bite wings. Is what I call that move. Necro. Yeah, okay. Necro, that's ne Necro's the evil one. Oh, okay, I got you. The other one is uh, Undyne, which is the the water one. I thought it was an angel. Yeah, but she's like water. That's kind of the gimmick. It's like oh. water and fire. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, Miku Rock Shooter getting tagged by Crosswise, and he drops him with jump D, and he gets the setup. I don't think he let that Helter Skelter get active before he YRC'd it. Wow. Let's uh, go low. Man, Steve-O is so good at taking risks, man. I tell you, he blitzed right back. He didn't even wait for it. 
But me, better by Miku Rock Shooter to go low, because remember, that Blitz only goes against high. So if you tap Blitz, go low, it's definitely a smart option. Man, Not many people Blitz low back. Then that's true. Uh, blitzing low is actually very scary. Yeah, yeah that was a very bold 2P that uh, oh. any RCs to check it. See, those are the kind of burst base you kind of live with. <laughs> I don't you know. Just, you kind of spend that. You're like, all right, he spent 50 meter. It's like, what could I have done there? Besides not burst. But Bosswise clashes with 4S. That's unfortunate for Steve-O. But he's trying to get out of scenario. Miku Rock Shooter kind of caging him. And another random crosswise. Did a long boot of the law. And then Woo, combos. Super. We got the wings. He didn't finish. The Steve-O didn't finish the combo. He could have comboed more after that. Oh, no. Oh, this is why. This is the downside to playing Dizzy. You feel like you're just. It's like, okay, these are just random hits. But then it adds up. It adds up faster than any other character, and you get stunned really easy. A couple of random crosswises. That big combo, even though he dropped it, got the knockdown and just kept going. And it leads to Dizzy right there. And we're going to go into our final round here. That's unfortunate. I mean, that's the frustration of playing a character like that. That's true. But I definitely think that's why you got to keep your composure. Those rounds can frustrate you, but you got to keep moving. you got to move past it. The last round, it happened. It's gone. Move on. But... Let's see what the adjustments both of these players make going into this last round. The round starts have been very interesting. I always like to always like to look at that. They slowly and slowly get more conservative, or they slowly and slowly get more crazy. But I think in this one, it's getting conservative because of Dizzy stuff. Whoa! Oh. Helter have, Skelter Air Dash? He I've never seen that before. Like, he didn't, wow! He didn't even, and there we, there we go. Bite him. Oh, man. Is Steve being nice? Wow. Oh, okay. Is he being nice? I, I think he was styling on stream. Is he, he being styling, nice? He was styling on stream. He might as well have taunted. He might as well have killed him. Like, I mean, know? yeah. Throwing out that 5K. One of Dizzy's underutilized buttons, but that's the button we should really talk about. Is her 2P is very big. Yeah, it is, man. Steve, I like that he's chasing him down, letting him go with these free summons. He gets to punish on crosswise, and Miku Rock is going to get going. But I don't think he's adjusting his setups to Slayer. He's not really taking account of him jumping out. See, like right now, Miku Rock is getting way too flustered. He's getting too uh, frustrated, you know, because he's trying to run away. And, uh, you know, like I said, Steve-O's offense is so good, but it's Miku Rock just needs to establish Slayer does have also have the second fastest instant air dash in the game, so he can easily just check you out, and he's hitting buttons on its late. Oh, you know no. why you call it? It's late. Why? Because that counter hit feels late to everybody <laughs> but the. It feels late to everybody but the Slayer player. Straight up. Man, that was man. Steve-O made that look so. I love how well he was chasing him out of projectile. Yeah,